kind to me, has been very kind to the McGunks, is unfortunately going to cease operations this upcoming week. So the Providence Phoenix, known for its legendary smut section this upcoming week, is it's, it's calling it quits. Well, the smut section has gotten smaller over the years. I don't know if you guys noticed that. With, well, the, I with, with the internet and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Times are tough in the kingdom. We used to just, I, that was just fun, just cutting pictures out and sticking on guys' toolboxes. You know, the, K, the KY, kid Tool that's gone, KY kid that's gone for hire, you know, you stick it to a guy's toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, well, if you, it was what you do every Thursday after work or school or whatever you did, you'd go to wherever you got it, you went and picked it up, and you sat in the car and read, all right, what's what's happening this weekend? What's going on? You know, what's that? And, of course, Lupo was, you know, had the big back cover. She's like, okay, who's coming, you know, uh, your favorites are uh, to see it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. That was the new paper years ago, right? It's just, yeah, but it was the Phoenix. That's then right. it was it was the new paper. Then the Phoenix new paper. Then right. just the Phoenix. Yeah, I don't know how to. Read I think it, I so think that's it doesn't yeah. really affect me at all. Well, there's a lot of pictures. Yeah, pictures are all right, but I got the internet. But they were never shy about supporting local music. In that, I mean, if you sent them a show and you were you got it to them in time, I mean, they weren't yeah, all, yeah, all shy you about the listings. Yeah, yeah, you just and it was like, oh, how do you get in? The, how do you get in that? You just ask. It, it, yeah. was pretty, it was pretty yeah. much that simple. Yeah, they're not going to come to your garage and, you know, like a stupid <laughs> man. Give us your calendar. But, <laughs> but yeah, you just, there's a number right at the bottom. If you want to be in this, call it. Okay. Hey, thanks. Send and the they, tips, yeah. They'll put it down, and they'll put it in that little section, the uh, the, the local thing. And, oh, going on this weekend as well. But, you know, whatever whatever you were doing, and they'd do it. I'm sure you were in the same situation as me where people would come up to you and said, hey, I read about you in the Phoenix this yeah. week, you know, a little bit further back before kind of, social media completely was uh where it was at but yeah i mean people would constantly come up to me and, and talk about seeing the show listings and you know oh i came to the show this weekend because i read it in the phoenix mm -hmm. so as you progress and as any band progresses you kind of have to figure out how to fill that gap right yeah it's uh, interesting it, yeah obviously with social media facebook and stuff but i think that's got kind of getting played out too because you know each one of us probably has someone or some promoter or some kind of thing that barrages you with crap and you're like oh, yeah. okay you, you, you don't even read it anymore yeah. that's you know it's probably something great in it so people are resilient something else will come along there'll be another paper or a new you know a new way of doing it it's got to happen like that like you know motifs doing their thing which is cool but they're only once a month yeah. now so it's not as quick and you know with the way people want information now it's you know like quick 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 yeah, you, you really have to plan ahead, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of people that are in bands, people that are musicians, are uh, a little disorganized. So yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not thinking about putting out a call for your show that's happening two months from now. Right. Yeah, but it, some, something else, whenever something goes away, something will fill the void. Like when all the clubs are on here, we're going. We're going. They're like, oh, there's nowhere left to play. Now there's a ton of places. Yeah. You know, they're all they're all renamed. They're all different uh, different. You know, same building, different new logo. It's all. Yeah, that's the, you know, it's, it's, it's a very unique New England thing and specifically a very unique Rhode Island thing to describe a club as what it used to be. Yeah, like the, keg, the, the, what's the, the squirrels, the keg, no, it's not the keg, the spots, the keg, yeah. the squirrels, the, uh, the old the century. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it just, <laughs> it moves, uh, you know, it moves around and around. The, old the, the place above the around. old baby head. Yep, <laughs> yeah, above yeah. and then. Uh, or the rocket. Or the yeah. old AS220, <laughs> yeah. or some people would call that the original AS220. Yep. So this is, uh, unfortunately, uh, what I have next is a now defunct band. They're actually from Australia, but we have to keep them alive in a radio way because they were probably one of the best shows I saw uh, in semi-recent history for me. So this is a, a track called Devil Child, and this is a band called Zombie Ghost Train. You heard him here on the Tony Jones Show. Shot of guns, blood of favor 
that was left behind A place where I found comfort And was all mine to roam How can I be a hostage if this is my home?
for it's a broken heart that needs treating Oh man, I hope that what I thought I heard Was just inside my head The repeat confirms that it's something bad So I drive up the street Versus Train, the name of that one, my old pal Michael Graves, right here on the Tony Jones Show. Before that, you heard from Johnny B. Morbid off of the album Welcome to Die. That was Stockholm. And then last time we chatted, I brought you into some Zombie Ghost Train, the unfortunately now defunct Zombie Ghost Train. We heard Devil Child. You are tuned in to the Tony Jones Show online at TonyJones.org, on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show, on Twitter at Tony Jones in RI. I want to thank everybody for checking in with me on Twitter uh, this evening or this day or as we, of course, broadcast over the airwaves, over the internet and throughout the universe. You could be listening at any time. But if you're checking in with me live and seeing how bad we screw up, possibly uh, you know, seeing if these guys swear and I get fired again. I want to thank you for That'll be my fault. tuning in live because, you know, we love the podcast. We love the iTunes and all that and people listening 